Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn about Intune device configuration related to the profile section. In this profile section, we are going to create uh, related to the platform for Windows 10. I'll fill the name as administrative template profile and if you can look at here the profile type is administrative templates. It's not just the administrative template you do have different uh, different profile types all together but we'll talk about administrative template. These administrative templates in Microsoft Intune includes hundreds of settings that can control your for example in maybe Internet Explorer if you take an example or maybe office uh, office program related to Microsoft Office uh, related or maybe it can take for the remote desktop or maybe OneDrive passwords and pins. There are hundreds of settings which are available here and these are very similar to your group policies that you are managing from on-premises but in this case since it, we are talking about Intune we are trying to line up with Intune so it's going to be cloud so if you are looking for some kind of settings uh, as we just talked about like RDB or maybe MS Office related or IE or maybe OneDrive all those settings are can be managed from this administrative templates so let's go ahead and select this and let's create it so when you start creating here it will be uh, automatically creates and it goes to the settings tab uh, here and if you can see here there are hundreds of uh, settings if you can see here the pages like 1 to 29 different pages and different settings all together you have these are the settings related to the path very similar to your configuration is related in the group policy management console let me show you that I'm just logging to one of my active directory machine and here I can open up the group policy management console from the administrative tools uh, instead of using the existing one I'm gonna open up by creating a new group policy management console uh, within that new group policy in fact and once I created I'm gonna edit that and you can um, check out here when I maximize I have this computer settings as well as the user settings let me navigate uh, further to the administrative templates I can show you here under all settings uh, before all settings you can see here different settings under Windows computers similarly I do have here settings for the all settings for which are user specific similarly I'm also going to show you uh, for the uh, computer configuration related so if I navigate a similar set similar uh, navigation panel I should be going to the all settings and that's where I'm going to uh, show you here and if I sort it here again on the path I can check out here different settings so these are the similar settings which are available uh, almost uh, in your on-premises group policy management console as well as in the Intune conclude the settings which are available in the administrative templates are built into Intune and these does not require any further customizations because they are already built in readily available for you like a one-stop uh, shopping kind of experience so you simply go ahead and and choose whatever the settings you wanted and you can go here and search for the settings for example I can search here as home page and I would be getting all that whatever the settings are available related to the home page and I can uh, further level even uh, filter here like only show for me only for the windows related for example disable the change the home page so I'm so I'm here changing that uh, the setting should be uh, enabled so that I don't want any further settings or the home page should be available say example I want my company name should be appear for example here I can set it as Omni or Tatcom so that is my home page which is going to apply for my Windows 10 devices so the setting is specific to the user if you look at here for the Windows uh, Windows devices level also you have the option so you can also configure the relevant settings so you you need to concentrate and filter based on these settings whether they are applying for the users or specific to the users or maybe a devices that needs to be you know, determined and then what are the settings you are trying to apply you can apply those settings so these are the uh, more of these more of the settings which are available as part of uh, your administrative template so you can apply and you can choose all those settings I did show you uh, one of the simple uh, setting maybe you know you can check out a further level of settings for example maybe office related like you know auto save option you want to configure you can uh, further level you know configure those settings or maybe I can filter specific to office and and I can choose those specific settings let's say ActiveX uh, control uh, to be you know done maybe 
or maybe trusted sites or trusted locations all that can be done as simple as uh, you configure from your group also similar settings you can do it from in tune especially from the administrative templates so this concludes that how to configure administrative templates and the settings once you have configured the required settings you can assign those settings to the required groups so you need to design in a such a way that all the target of the user groups should be a proper groups because not all the settings will be applying for every user you might have a business unit a and the b and c but these settings may be only applicable for windows uh, maybe a group a division not for b and c and d or uh, vice versa so in that situation you need to configure a proper active directory groups which are in this case as your ad groups once you have configured the required ad groups and then you can apply that specific uh, settings to that only specific to that groups that's how you're gonna design in the real world uh, thank you for watching this uh, but let's assign this to the all users so that uh, i can show you during my during my windows enrollment i can show you all the settings which are applying Thank you for watching this.